So hi everyone, uh, welcome. And today we will look at how to connect a Canon printer to a laptop, and then how to print pages. So this example we will use Canon LPP 2900D printer, but this will work for any kind of printer because these are generic steps. Like so, if you have an HP printer or any other printer like Lexmark or any other brand, so you have to just connect the cables and then do some of the software configuration in Windows 10 and then yeah, it will just start working. So let's look at how. So first of all, uh, just connect the power cable. So at the back side here, we have the power cable here and then we can connect it here to the power and then at the back here we have this cable, right? So this will go into the slot here at the back as you can see. Right, this one, yeah. So just plug this into this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the other end is a USB cable, right? The other end of this cable is a USB, right? So just plug this into the laptop or computer USB slot. Yeah, so as soon as you connect this, right? Uh, the first thought that might come is that every all the connections are done and then uh, the printer should automatically start printing, right? So let's see if it is working like that. So I've just created this demo print uh, notepad. Uh, if I do control P, then the printer does not show up here, right? So then what's wrong, right? So at first I was also not able to figure out, but then what I actually found out was that the drivers for the printer have to be installed on Windows 10. Otherwise this will not really work. So let's first try and search for uh, Canon LBP 2900B drivers, right? So as soon as I type that, uh, the first link that will come up here is this one, right? And just click on that and let's see what comes. So it says a 64-bit version. Uh, if your computer is 64-bit, just download the 64-bit version here. Um, so it will take maybe a few seconds to download depending on your internet speed. So here it's done for me. So once you download it, it will show up as a folder like this. So just uh, extract that and go into the x64 folder. Inside the x64 folder, you will find a setup link, which is the application for setups. Just double click on this, select yes, and just do next, yes, next yes right so this will keep working and it, it will install the printer drivers so let's just wait for a few moments till the time it completes see here it it also mentions that the same steps which we talked about right that connect the usb cable then if the printer power is off turn on the printer so in our case everything is done secondly it is saying that if the printer is not automatically recognized even if the usb cable is connected uh, then disconnect the cable and then again turn off the printer and turn it on. So uh, we are first installing the drivers and even after that it is not working then we will follow uh, this step to remove the cable, plug it in back and then also power off the printer and then power it on back. Okay, so now our drivers have been installed. Uh, so let's go to again add printer screen and see if the printer is coming up there. So I'll just, right now it's not showing up to me here. I'll, what I'm doing is I'm just removing the USB cable and I'll just put it back so that it automatically identifies my printer. Let's see if it comes up now. If not, then I'll uh, see. It has come up here now and looks like that it has been installed now. So after the uh, drivers are installed, if your printer is not showing up automatically, then just plug in the USB cable once more. Automatically it should come up. Even if it is not coming up after that, just power off your printer and power it on back. Then it should just come back. So let's try printing a text uh, demo page now. So for printing, you just need to put the papers here. So this is the place where you should put the printer pages, right? And then as soon as this is done, uh, let's try printing our demo page again. 
so this is the demo print right and then let's put some star 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 something like that just to see how it is working and then do control p see our canon lvp is showing up here and just print and see the printer has started working and let's see if the printing comes out as we expect it or not and ta -da -da, i think we have our test print see whatever we did a demo print it has come out here nicely so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions do comments and i'll be happy to reply there and if you like the video do subscribe thank you so much